Hello viewers, welcome to Career Guidance TSP playlist. So in this video lecture, we are going to analyze the product quantization error. So for this product quantization error, we are going to find the output round of noise power when the system is realized in cascade form and the product are rounded to 5 bits. So very simple problem. So first, so what are the steps involved in finding the output round of noise power? That is, you have to find the noise variance in the error signal due to quantization, which is equal to Q squared divided by 12. So, you know the quantization level Q is equal to R divided by 2 power B. Here in this problem, the voltage range is not given. So, R is equal to 2. 2 divided by the number of binary bits is 5. So, it is equal to 0 0.0625. And sigma e square is equal to 0.0625 square divided by 12. The answer is 3.255 into 10 power minus 4. Here, in this system, there are rights realized in uh, cascade form. These are two systems. So, there is a two error uh, noise. Two error noise. The, let it be the, the first error noise will be E1 of n. So, with the transfer function as 1 minus 0 0.41 into z power minus 1 and 1 minus 0 0.59 into z power minus 1. And the second, uh, the error is, let be the function b 2 2 of n b 1 minus 0 0.59 into z power minus 1. So, you know how to solve, uh, how to find the, the system uh, noise variance for this transfer function and system noise variance for this transfer function after finding this you have to add the two noise variance to find the total round of noise power let me see how to find the error variance for the transfer function t1 of n t1 of n let it be it be an h1 of z let it be h of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.41 z power minus 1 1 minus 0 0.59 into z power minus 1 very simple you just take uh, z power minus 1 common outside this is equal to uh, z power minus 1 common outside uh, z minus 0 0.41 and z power minus 1 into 1 minus 0 0.59 uh, z power minus 1 into z power minus 1 z power minus 2 that is z square divided by z minus 0 0.41 into z minus 0 0.59 and then to find h of z inverse h of z inverse is equal to z power minus 2 divided by z power minus 1 minus 0 0.41 z power minus 1 minus 0 0.59 again i am just uh, taking uh, z power minus 1 common outside which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.41 z and z power minus 1 so 1 minus 0 0.59 into z z power minus 1 z power minus 1 z power minus 2 will get cancelled that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.41 z into 1 minus 0 0.59 z here i am just taking uh, minus uh, 0 0.41 common outside so 1 minus that is sorry z minus 1 divided by 0.41 <coughs> which is equal to 2.5 4, 3. Again, uh, minus, uh, minus 0 0.59 common outside is equal to z minus uh, 1 divided by 0.5 and it is equal to 1.69. You just multiply it. So, minus into minus plus. So, that 0.41 into point, uh, uh, it is equal to 0 0.2419 z power minus 2.43 to z power minus 1.69 and it is uh, after simplification it is 4.133 divided by z minus 2.43 into z minus 1.69 here uh, we have to apply the residuals that is uh, let it be i is equal to 1 by 2 pi j integral value of h of z, h of z inverse, z inverse dz. 
by residuals multiply h of z the h of z value is z square divided by z minus 0.41 into z minus 0.59 into z power uh, h of z power minus 1 it is 4.133 divided by z minus 2.43 into z minus 1.69 into z power minus 1 it is equal to it is equal to z into 4.133 divided by z minus 0.41 z minus 0.59 z minus 2.43 and z minus 1.69 here the poles are the poles are 0.41 0.59 2.43 and 1.69 to apply the residuals to apply the residuals you have to choose uh, the poles within the unit circle 0.41 and the 0.4 0.59 so by applying the residuals for the poles 0.41 and 0.59 it is z minus 0.41 into z 4.133 divided by z minus 0.41 z minus 0.59 z minus 2.43 z minus 1.69 so for z is equal to 0.41 plus z minus 0.59 into z 4.133 divided by z minus 0.41 z minus 0.59 z minus 2.43 z minus 1.69 so for the poles z is equal to 0.59 for the poles z is equal to 0.59 so solving after solving is this should get cancelled and this will get cancelled Uh, for z is equal to 0.41 and for z is equal to 0.59 the values are after simplification the values are minus 3.64 plus 6.69 it is equal to 3.05 so to find the uh, the value that is uh, due to the error signal 1 that is a uh, sigma e over 1 square is equal to sigma e square into i it is equal to a 3.255 into 10 power minus 4 into 3.05 it is equal to 9.927 into 10 power minus 4 so this is about the error signal due to the transfer function h1 of z and the h2 of z next to find the error signal e2 of n that is h2 of is that the transfer function is for h2 of z is that is h2 of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0.59 into z power minus 1 so for this you have to find h2 of z the same method uh, take z power minus 1 common outside z minus 0.59 it is equal to z divided by z minus 0.59 and similarly h2 of z inverse is equal to z inverse divided by z inverse minus 0.59 test uh, z inverse divided by i am taking z inverse common outside 1 minus 0.59 into z so this z inverse z inverse get cancel it is equal to 1 minus 0.59 into z i am just taking minus 0.59 common outside so that z minus 1 divided by 0.59 is equal to 1.694 and similarly 1 divided by 0.94 is 1.694 that is minus 1.694 divided by z minus 1.694 so this one is the h2 of z inverse next apply the residuals that is uh, by residuals summation i is equal to 1 to summation i is equal to 1 to n 
uh, h of z h of z inverse z inverse that is by residuals and it is equal to uh, what is the h of z is equal to z divided by z minus 0 0.59 into and then h of z inverse value is minus 1.694 divided by z minus 1.694 into z inverse it is equal to minus 1.694 divided by z minus 0 0.59 into z minus 1.694 so for this the poles are the poles are 0 0.59 and uh, 1.694 to apply the residuals you have to choose the poles within the unit circle here within the unit circle the poles is 0 0.59 Whereas it is uh, the another pole is outside the unit circle, you have to choose the poles within the unit circle that is z is equal to 0 0.59. So by residuals, so z minus 0 0.59 into minus 1.694 divided by z minus 0 0.59 into z minus 1.694 for the z value is equal to 0 0.59. So at the poles z is equal to 0 0.59, the value is 1.534, that is it will be get cancelled. So substitute z is equal to 0 0.59, so that the answer is 1.534. To find the system variance for the second system, which is equal to i into this residual value, sigma e square, that is sigma e square value is 3.255 into 10 power minus 4 into 1.534 and it is equal to 4.99 into 10 power minus 4. So the total system noise is equal to E total. Noise is equal to E O 1 square plus E E O 2 square. It is equal to 4 point that is a uh, sorry the first uh, error variance is 9.927 into 10 power minus 4 plus 4.99 into 10 power minus 4 this is equal to 14.917 into 10 power minus 4 or 1.49 into 10 power minus 3 so this is the total noise power at the system at the output of the system while using the while realizing the system in cascade form i summarize the problem that is uh, effect of code word length due to product quantization here the number of bits rounded is on 5 bits the system realization is in the cascade form here in cascade form in cascade form two error uh, uh, two error sources the one source is uh, the one source is a t1 that is the both the system the another source is the second system. So from this you have to find the, the noise that is a error variance due to quantization process. The error variance due to quantization is 3.255 into 10 power minus 4. And similarly, you have the two noise signal E1 of n and the E2 of n. Sorry, E1 of n and the E2 of n. For E1 of error signal, the total system function and E2 of is then 1 minus 0 0.59 into z power minus 1. So for this case, uh, find h of z and h of z inverse and apply the residuals. Apply the residuals. So after applying the residuals, you have to choose the poles within the unit circle. So after applying the residuals, it is 3.05. From that, the noise uh, error signal, that is the noise variance due to that error signal, variance due to quantization into that residuals. It is 9.927 into 10 power minus 4. Next, I'm going to find the error signal due to the second system H2 of Z. For this, find H2 of Z and H2 of Z inverse. And do the multiplication process. Z, H of Z into H of Z inverse into Z inverse. So for this, the poles are at 0.59 and 1.694. Choose the poles at 0.59. I cancel it and then uh, the answer is 1.54 to find the error variance i into sigma e square do the product 
the total system uh, power variance is equal to adding of two error signals 1 and 2 so that the total variance is equal to 1.49 into 10 power minus 3 okay thank you so much thanks for listening for more problems subscribe our channel thank you so much